In this video, we'll go over installation of a 5-speaker plug-and-play system from SSV AudioWorks. We're installing it in our Polaris Razor 1000. SSV's instructions are broken down in sections. Make sure to check them for the tools you'll need for the job. We'll note the tools as we go along. Kit will come with two front speakers, two rear speakers, an amplifier, a subwoofer, and all the hardware and cables. To start, remove the seats from the vehicle. Once the battery is exposed, make sure you disconnect the negative terminal. Always make sure the battery is disconnected before doing any electrical work. Once the battery is disconnected, remove the center console. It's held in by two Torx screws, for which you will need an Allen wrench or a comparable screwdriver bit. There are also a few push pins along the side of the unit. Once everything's removed, the console can be lifted free. At this point, we can move to the outside of the vehicle and remove the hood. Unlatch the locking pins to remove the outer layer of the hood. From here, we can start to remove the dashboard. You'll need to remove four more Torx screws, two in the front and one on each side, as well as two more push pins for which pliers are recommended. With those out, you can lift and remove the top center dash component. Then, you can remove the rest of the dash. From inside the vehicle, just pull it towards you to unclip and remove. To remove the upper dash pocket, you'll need to take out the torque screws around the ride command system and the push pins in the dash pocket. Once they're all out, unclip the dash around the pocket, gently pull the dash forward, and remove the upper pocket. To remove the lower dash pocket, you'll need to take out the torque screws, disconnect the USB cable, unclip the LED cable, and remove.
Before removing the harnesses connected to the dash, make sure you either label the wires or take a picture of the setup so you can reconnect everything exactly as it was. Then, remove the harnesses and you can fully remove the dash. With the hood and dash removed, you can feed the wiring you'll need into the dash cavity. They should be fed through this rubber grommet in the firewall. You'll want to feed at least 18 inches of the power wire and the BH1151 rear harness female connector through the grommet. With the cables in place, you'll need to prep to run the wires and cables through the cabin while allowing clearance for the sub-enclosure. Remove the 10mm bolt securing the Dynamics brain tray, then tilt the brain back and unsnap the perimeter of the connector cover. It'll be replaced by the cover with this kit, which has a relief cutout allowing space for the cables. Run a zip tie through the provided connector cover. Before installing it, snap the connector housing back into place. Then bend the harness toward the zip tie and close it. Cinch it down and put the Dynamics brain tray back into place. Do not reinstall the bolts. This will be done later. Now we'll install the glove box subwoofer enclosure. First, you'll need to secure the hardware to the sub itself. Attach bracket B using 8mm screws. Then the door latch using T30 screws. The left and right door hinge brackets will go on with 8mm screws and washers. And finally, the lower mounting bracket will use 8mm screws.
With the dash removed, you can extract the 10mm bolts holding the glove box in and remove it. Lift the sub enclosure into place and fasten it with the factory glove box mounting hardware. Make sure you pull the sub enclosure wiring towards the center of the vehicle to avoid pinching it against the chassis. Place bracket A in place towards the firewall and fasten it into place with 8mm socket head screws and washers. Secure the lower mounting bracket with a number 14 screw. Then attach the glove box door and your sub is in place. Place the amp tray base bracket at the location of the 10mm bolts we held off on reinstalling earlier, and refasten them through both the base bracket and the factory plate. Place the amp tray into the mounting location by lining up the amp plate screw holes to the factory holes on the chassis. You'll need to secure the amp tray with 10mm factory bolts at the top and T30 Torx bolts at the bottom. Using a scribe or punch, mark the location of the pilot hole on the passenger side of the tray. With the location marked, uninstall the amp tray and use a 1364 drill bit for the pilot hole. When the hole is drilled, reinstall the amp tray and use a self-tapping screw in the pilot hole. Now you'll need to reconnect the harnesses to the dash. The amp front input wire should connect to Ride Command Audio Amp 1 factory harness. Amp rear input for the rear speakers should connect to Audio Amp 2 factory harness. The 500.1 sub input should connect to Audio Amp 3 factory harness. And the 500.1 output should connect to the sub.
With the speakers installed and the rest of the wiring in place, now we just need to connect the power and ground cables to the battery. Remove the bottom cover of the fuse holder by extracting the two screws. Break off the left and right side tabs on the bottom cover. Then extract both fuse holder screws. Attach both the power wire and the battery terminal cable to the fuse holder and reattach the bottom cover. Once the fuse covers are in place, unscrew the factory nut on the battery negative terminal. Install the two ground cables to the screw on the ground battery terminal, and then reinstall the negative terminal nut. Then, unscrew the nut on the positive terminal. Install the two power cables to the screw on the positive terminal, and reinstall the nut. Remove the top of the fuse holder and extract the two screws. Insert a 40 amp fuse, replace the two screws, and reattach the fuse holder top. Zip tie all electrical cabling, both factory and audio, along the center column away from the drive shaft. At this point, installation is complete, and you just need to reinstall the factory panels and the seats. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to check back to ATVPC.com so you don't miss anything we've got going on. We'll see you on the trail.